visit by the Ghost Rider. Life is full of firsts. There are first words, first steps, and later, first loves. For generations of baseball and movie enthusiasts, there's also a landmark first that they might carry with them the rest of their lives. The myriad of emotions they experienced and memories they made on their first visit to the Field of Dreams. For some visitors, the first trip might also be the only, due to great geographical distance. For others, it unlocks a magic that keeps drawing them back whenever they can make the trip. Living in the area, and now also working at the place where dreams come true, the number of times I've been on the property has grown into too many to count. But like the legions of visitors that make the trek to this baseball shrine each year, I can remember my first visit as if it were yesterday. I clearly remember thinking I was just going to visit a baseball field that was used in the filming of a movie that had been fairly popular. Again, this was my first visit, so you'll have to forgive my not yet having a complete grasp of its greatness. As I turned left off Lansing Road and onto the dirt road leading to the field, a lump formed in my throat, out of nowhere, and tears quickly flooded the corners of my eyes. My voice was reduced to quivers as I remarked how magnificent it looked, and I gave up all hope of speaking as I walked around the bases before stepping on home plate. I indeed was home in my heart. I was in a place where I felt at peace with the world and have heard many similar stories in the years since. Welcome to the Field of Dreams, and welcome home.